Now that we've talked a little bit about um, layers and why it's so important for your students to understand how those work and an activity that you can use with them, um, I just want to take you through some of the other really cool features that most digital drawing platforms will have. Now, like I said, um, they're going to vary from platform to platform, but they will have the same basic components there. So you might just need to figure out the hotkey or the right gestures to use um, to get that specific um, tool to function on whatever platform you're using. So um, one of my favorite features um, when I'm using drawing tools, I'm going to just find a, a different brush here to use. So one of my favorite features is the ability to create a straight line. So as you see here, I'm just drawing. I'm going to make this brush a little bit bigger. So as I'm just drawing here, OK? Now, if I don't pick up and I just hold down, it automatically creates a straight line. And I can make it smaller, bigger, longer. Um, so that's a really good tool for any type of, you know, instead of using a ruler, um, your students can just create really, really straight lines, and it will just connect that way. Um, a similar thing can be used if you're creating shapes. So let's say I want to create a square shape. Um, I create that, and I just hold it down. And you can see that it's kind of straightened that out a little bit. Now I just put two fingers down, and you can see that it made that um, into a perfect square. So that's just a different way that you can get more geometric shapes. So same, you can do this with all types of shapes. If we take a look here, I'm going to build a circle. It's going to shape that up a little bit. Once again, if I tap down um, with those two fingers, and it will make it a more perfect shape as well. So those are just some of the cool drawing features um, that you can use. Um, with many, many platforms. And you just, like I said, you just got to figure out what exactly is going to work for the platform that you're using. So one of the other really cool features about most digital drawing platforms is the ability to vary the opacity. So that's how see-through something is. So if you are showing your students how to do color mixing, um, opacity could be a really good tool that you utilize at the digital level. So. For instance, I'm going to come here. Um, I'm going to grab my brush, and I'm going to change the color here to yellow. So as I go, this is my setting for the opacity, and it's going to be different on every platform that you use. So as I go here, I'm going to fill this in. And one of the other tools that is really awesome, too, is that fill tool, which I'll show you here in a second. But the opacity level doesn't look very see-through right now because it is on a white layer. So I'm going to add a new layer. And it's really important that you, like I showed you in the hamburger, that your students are labeling their layers just to help them keep, um, keep things in order. Otherwise, it gets really complicated with really detailed projects. So I'm going to go here, and I'm going to select a new color with the blue, making sure I'm on that other layer. And as I overlap, you can see that you can see parts of that yellow. Um, so one of the other, the yellow coming through, if I zoom in here, you can kind of see that there. Um, one of the great features, too, is utilizing that fill bucket um, as well. You'll have to play with that setting for the opacity, too. Um, if that's something that you can see that where, because I use that solid fill tool, though, um, it didn't fill it in where um, I drew over top of it. So you'll just have to know your program a little bit there. Um, but going back to that opacity tool, I'm going to add a new layer and kind of got some primary colors going on here. So as I overlap again, you can see that those colors are going to shine through a little bit. As you play with that opacity a little bit more, there's going to be more of a difference. So this is a really cool way to build depth and dimension in your work, um, in your students' work. So it's a really good tool for them to learn 
at the beginning of their creation process, and you can see if they go over even the same color again, um, it's going to really layer on top of each other so that they can um, see that depth that can be created in a digital drawing piece.